Modern Percussion Revolvers, Part 6, Load Development. I'm Hovey Smith. I'm probably best known as the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, Converting Deer to Dunner for Pennies a Pound. I'm also the corresponding editor for the magazine Gun Digest. Now in this session we're going to be talking about developing hunting loads. This is one of the guns we're going to be using. It's a Pieta revolver. The general pattern of the revolver is in the Remington pattern of 1858. And this is an all stainless steel model with adjustable sights. So we expect to be doing really good work with this gun. If you're going to do systematic load development with multiple guns and multiple powders and multiple loads, wow, it's difficult to keep everything straight. All right. So we're going to do shooting and we're going to do chronographing. Now some hint. You only put the components on the loading table that you're actually using for that particular shooting session. You don't put everything out here and then try to mix and match and load and load a few of this and a few of that and some of this powder and some of that and go back and forth like that. It doesn't work very well. So you keep it simple. You keep it systematic. You take your time. This is going to take some days to complete because I'm going to be shooting two different revolvers, this one and the Ruger Old Army, two different powders, Triple FG Black Powder and Hodgson's Triple Seven. We're going to weigh each charge. We will measure each charge. We will load each bullet and then go out and shoot it, chronograph it. We may change the loads up and down a little bit as we go. And then finally, Carefully record every bit of information in its own separate little page on a notebook. So this way we can keep track of such things. Now ultimately, this will result in a Gun Digest article that you'll be able to read in 2013. And I'm going to get out and set up the chronograph and show you about that one too. Well, here is the setup. This is a chronograph. It's a competitive edge dynamic instrument. And these are the so-called screens. The bullets will pass through here and strike the target. There's a front screen and a back screen, and the distance is known, so that way the velocity can be measured by optical sensors here. And the results will be recorded in this instrument, and you may be able to actually see the display. Well, two of the shots went a little low, but three of them just ate the corner out of the bullet. And we did get good chronograph data. Now, this is running some, something over a thousand feet per second, which is certainly not bad from a black powder revolver. I'm going to be shooting 32 grains by volume of Triple F Hodgson's Triple Seven Power. And that's what I have here. I've shot this load before, and I know it's a hot load, so I've checked its weight again here on the scales, as you see, just to make sure that I had everything right, and we're shooting exactly what I was before. So that's been checked. So we load the measure here. I use this little cutoff cartridge case, so all the powder goes into the chamber, like that. It's, this is the best way I know how to do this, by the way. So every grain of powder got in there. Now, we we'll get a bullet right here. These have been heavily lubricated, as you see. So, strike off the bottom so the bottom of the bullet is clean, like that on this tile. That's what that's all about. Then you put the bullet into the chamber like this, and you set it upright. So it pushes down and goes under the loading lever. To load these conical bullets, 
this one, as well as a buffalo bullet. I've taken a Dremel tool and I've cut away some metal right here on the stainless steel revolver. Now you can't see it really, but it makes loading these considerably better. They are a bit of a pain to get there. Then you take your loading lever, you push it down like this, a cloth to put under the palm because this little edge here is right sharp. And you push down and you crimp hard. Like yay. And that gives you a good load that's set down below the chamber. What can happen if this load sits too high here is you'll get a cylinder tie up because this ball will creep forward and actually jam the barrel when it gets to the other side. I was trying a brand new bullet, a 240 grainer, and that took the red out of the bullseye, but this and other elongate bullets just did not shoot well out of this gun. The rest of these loads were scattered all over the top end of the paper, as you can see up to the left. All was not lost, however. This revolver did manage to get some good groups with round ball loads, as you'll see being shot right now. Now these are falling in very, very nicely. Now there is a flyer or two, but most of them go right below the bullseye and form a tight little group with some on top of each other. That's good. We're about ready to wind things up. This is the last of the shooting I'll do. And now we're shooting the Ruger Old Army. And we're using a load of 777. And also a 240 grain lead bullet that promises to do good work at 50 yards. I have a tie up with a revolver with a with a ball. You see how the ball is moving forward here? It's actually blocking the chamber rotation. We'll see if we can push it back with the fingers. There we go. All right. All right, so we got those three away. Now I'll move the, move the camera down. These are the first three shots, and there goes the fourth, and I pulled that one. But the group is looking good up at the top center, and you'll see some more go in there, and I think this represents the true potential of this load. So this is something I think I can work with and actually hunt with. So I'm going to develop this some more, but I'm running out of bullets. So we're going to have to end this session pretty quick. But, uh, yeah, this one will work. Well, here is my book, Backyard Deer Hunting, and that's what this is all about. Now, for more videos and other detailed information, I have much more on my blog. And so you can go to that, and you can find videos, and as well as the load information actually written out, something I cannot give you in visual format. But you can get it there. Now, for general information, you can go to my books like Extreme Muzzle Loading, which will be out later this year, at www.hoviesmith.com. Now, I'm going to have a radio program that will run in August 2011 that will feature these guns and actually these shootings and a talk with a guy who actually developed the bullet. So, good hunting and good eating from the outdoors.